I'll take that back. So in a call center where we were at Loan Depot and like Quicken Loans, their marketing, their telemarketing is like a 10 to $20 million a month budget is crazy. <laughs> Just warm them up, warm them up, warm them up, and then get them to the licensed professional. How does, a, how does a new loan officer, when they come in, um, what are they doing? Because they have to pick up the phone, like oh, you said, yeah. right? So uh, go out and create those relationships. Um, what kind of things do do loan officers do? Like, do you guys have telemarketers? Do you, um, what do you do to, to drive uh, new business acquisition? Yeah, so that's, <laughs> so Loan Depot, let me just speak for that. So okay. totally different business model I'm on now. I've lived in the city of Mission Viejo for 14 years. I have, Right now, I'm like 100% just referral, just because I've people have known me over the years, and that that's where I'm at right now personally. That's not to say I'm completely set up to scale. I'm actually getting some um, my cousin licensed up and some people uh, just for the opportunity because they're so. I'll take that back. So in a call center where we were at Loan Depot and like Quicken Loans, their marketing, their telemarketing is like a. 10 to 20 million dollar a month budget it's crazy it's just warm them up warm them up warm them up and then get them to the pre licensed professional mm. um you know I, it seems like social media is a, a big player right now that's something mm -hmm. um that seems very because that almost does automatic follow-up for you um with a lot of this kind of stuff but there's a lot of ways to do this i know i wouldn't you guys probably do a better job of it than i do at the moment just because i rely on my 19 years of experience and just sure. more community yeah. based right now. But. How does a how does a new loan officer when they come in, um, what are they doing? Because they have to pick up the phone, like oh, you said, yeah. right? So uh, go out and create those relationships. So it's real estate agents, it is tax professionals, it is financial planners. For example, I have a loan now for a retired gentleman that uh, he's not going to qualify unless he's he's been collecting social security he's got a bunch of money in the bank doesn't need to pull but has a five hundred thousand dollar ira that he can tap into at any time i have to actually have him tap into it to make my debt ratio work so i have mm -hmm. to call his financial planner tell him hey i need your financial planner to set up an automatic disbursement for five grand a month so i can make this loan happen and then as soon as it's done whatever you do is fine right let's get the <laughs> <You're writing. right. laughs> But I then get a letter from this financial planner and there's a new, brand new relationship. I could have looked at it through the narrow lens and said, great, I got my file done here. Or that guy's now on my list. Hey, let me give you a few examples of what I do for financial planners and how much value I can bring to your business. I have templated out items that I just shoot over to them, including some calculators um, that get really in the weeds. I, I don't need to bore you with it, but just high level with that is if people are pulling money out to go buy a house, that means that financial planner is not making the money because they're pulling the money from there and putting it into a home. I mm -hmm. have this some crazy tools that I didn't build that I paid for that can show annual rate of return. And hey, let's not take this out. Let's get a mortgage instead of paying cash for this house let's get a mortgage, only put 20% down, leave that other 80% that they would have taken out to leave it with you. And I'll show them on this calculator, the tax implications and all this kind of stuff on my mortgage side. And then it's easy. You just give me an annual rate of return. I plug that in and then you see a net net. It's, it makes sense to actually have a loan instead of pay something free and clear Ooh, interest on the money. That's system. huge. It gets crazy. I can get really nerdy with that stuff, but yeah. So it's all about value that you're going to bring to the, to your audience that's in front of you. That could be a referral source like that. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. Hold up.